finally gonna get started on the installation of our version six front bumper using the bumper beam cut method. This method is gonna be perfect for those of you that are building on a budget and don't wanna pay the extra amount of money to actually get a 2.5 RS front bumper beam or the JDM bumper beam. All it takes is some simple cutting and you'll be able to fit your 2.5 RS front bumper or whatever style front bumper you choose with no issues. I'm super stoked to be showing you guys the end result, so definitely stay tuned till the end of the video to find out what it looks like with everything thrown on the car. This front bumper added a ton of aggressiveness and I think you guys will really enjoy it. So be sure to stay tuned till the end. First things first, we're gonna get the coupe pulled into the garage. We're gonna put it on jack stands, remove the grill and remove the headlights to reveal the bumper fasteners so we can start popping those clips out and get that old original bumper off the car. All right, everybody, so we got the headlights and the grill taken off the car. You can see right there that the fasteners are all lined on the top and you have to remove those headlights in order to be able to access some of them. In my case, I was actually missing a bunch of clips and the clips that were still in that front bumper had already been pulled out or they weren't really fastening it to anything. Alongside that, there's a couple clips tucked in the fender well that you'll have to take out. I was actually missing the clips from the previous owner. They were just zip tied there. So my bumper was already a little bit loose. So I just had to cut those zip ties, get those fasteners off the top and we were able to pull that bumper off. On my coupe, there were some aftermarket fog lights also installed once we got the bumper off. So we had to go ahead and figure out where the wiring was, where it routed to, and we had to pull all that out of the coupe just so we could have a clean, fresh start for this car with these body pieces. So now that we got the old bumper taken off the car, you could see how big this bumper beam truly is. There's basically two bumper beams stacked one on top of the other, and in order to get this to fit with our new bumper, we're just gonna have to cut right along the top side while being careful around the mounting parts of the bumper beam. If you take a look inside your engine bay, where the bumper beams actually feed into, there's two bolts on each side. You're gonna have to take those out, and then you should be able just to unhinge that bumper beam, and then we could get to cutting. So now that we got that bumper beam off and we're ready to start cutting, the big key here is to just take your time and make sure you're doing it as clean as possible just so you have the best result at the end. What we ended up doing is along those mounting points, there's three welds. We took our time on those welds, just making sure that we cut and grind it down enough so that we could stick something in between and pry the metal apart. Once you get those mounting points situated, then you can move on to actually cutting the rest of the bumper beam directly in half. For this part, we wanna save the top half of the bumper beam. So you wanna cut right alongside that top half just to have a clean look. Otherwise, you're gonna be able to see some of the remaining pieces through your new bumper. <laughs> So we finally got that bumper beam cut apart. So now we're just gonna throw it back onto the car the same way that we put it on and everything should fit just perfectly. Everything we got came disassembled. So we have the side marker lights, we have the fog lights, but we are missing all the mounting tabs that come with this bumper. Luckily, we have this kit that we picked up off Amazon that's just a bunch of different Christmas tree style tabs that you can use for doing jobs similar to this. So I'll be sure to link that down below in the description in case you guys need some for whatever install you're going to be doing as well. Now all that's left to do is to go ahead, assemble all of our lights. I'm actually not gonna be using the fog lights because I wanna upgrade to fog light covers later on. 
So we're just gonna put those side clearance lights into the new bumper. And once we put those into the new bumper, it's just reversing the entire process to get the new bumper back on. <laughs> So this install compared to the hood, compared to the rear wing, was definitely the most time consuming install and the most technical install that we've had to go and do. Mainly just for the cutting part alone, it definitely made this install a little bit more difficult, but we did save money where we would have spent by cutting that bumper beam instead of going and finding a 2.5 RS bumper beam. If you guys do want to go that route where you do just buy the front bumper beam, put it on the car, throw the bumper on, I've heard that Subaru dealerships can actually order that part but you'll have to contact your dealership to figure out if they're able to do that for you. Overall, I am stoked on the process of this car. Right now it's looking great. Even though with the mismatched paint, it is throwing it off just a little bit. It doesn't necessarily matter because I know once it's all one color, this car is gonna look amazing. I hope this install video slash tutorial is definitely helpful for you guys. If you guys do have any questions on this install, be sure to leave them in the comments and I will definitely be able to follow up with you guys and provide whatever answer I could come up with down below. So let me know what you guys think and I will see you in the next video.